The book states that the goal of differential equations is to solve differential equations. That is incorrect. Our goal is to understand them, which might involve solving them or might not. But whether we actually find solutions or seek to understand them in some other way, we need to know what the solution to a differential equation is. Definition. A solution to a differential equation is a function that satisfies the equation on some interval. Let's look at an example. We previously introduced a differential equation of the form P prime of T equals K times P of T, where K is some constant. And we'll make the claim that P of T equals E to the power of K T is a solution. I say a solution, not to the solution, a fact that we will come back to. For now, let's verify this claim. I'm not telling you how we came up with this. We'll see that soon enough. I'll just verify that it really is a solution. The derivative using the chain rule is k times e to the kt and e to the kt equals P of T. So this is K times P of T, just as we claim this is a solution. Thank you.
fejem. Pjövt equals the constant function zero is also a solution. And we will verify this. The derivative of a constant function is zero. And certainly zero is k times zero. And zero, the constant function zero is p of t. So this also satisfies this differential equation. Um, in the definition, I say it needs to satisfy the equation on some interval. For both of these examples, this is true on the entire real number line. Let's do a second example. Here we'll look at the differential equation dy dx equals two times x times y. And this example illustrates something that can occasionally be confusing about differential equations, which is that we are working with functions functions, but we rarely use function notation. So we have x times y. It looks like we just have two variables being multiplied together. But actually, if we're taking the derivative of y with respect to x, y must be a function of x. So what we have here is x as our independent variable and y as our unknown function. And again, we'll claim without saying how we got to this, that y of x equals a constant c times e to the power of x squared is a solution.
and we'll verify this claim. Again, we need the chain rule to take this derivative, the derivative of this inside function is a 2x. So let me see, we want a 2x, we've got a 2x, so let's put those together. And then we've got c e to the x squared and c e to the x squared is y of x so we have exactly what we wanted. Here we're using function notation, here we're not, but in both cases the derivative of y is 2 times x times y, exactly as we wanted. And this is once again, true on an interval on the entire real number line. This video is maybe running a little long, so I think we'll call it here. We should do an example where the differential equation is not satisfied on the entire real number line, but on some smaller interval. And I think that will be the subject of that next video.